Hey, good afternoon. Preacher Man Brian here for video number four. As we re enter for worship, we re enter for worship. I think you know by now I'm talking about re entering for worship on this Sunday, June the 28th. Um, I, I want to talk today about this stuff. And, and I think you, we all understand right now th this, is, this is liquid gold. Um, but, but I want to be very serious about how we talk about um, just the cleanliness and the importance of, of our hands being clean and, and, and just our bodies um, being in its best shape possible to continue to endure and to persevere and knowing that until there's a vaccine, until there's a cure, we're going to have to learn how to live knowing that this virus is around us. doesn't mean that everyone has it. But it does mean that we have to take precautionary uh, measures. Um, and I think we all realize that this is just important stuff that we've needed to do even in non-pandemic times. So I want us to understand it as we, as we not only use hand, san hand sanitizer, but we use soap and we use water and we, we actually rub and, and we clean and we rinse and we dry, that life is better with clean hands. Can we think about that? Life is better uh, with, with clean hands. And, and I want to emphasize this point not to just go, duh, well, we know that, preacher. But I think it's going to be part of the, uh, the way that we need to uh, re-enter um, with the sense of awareness that life is better with clean hands and, and with well bodies, okay? Because I want for us to be, um, as, as superheroes, I, I want us to be the ones that, that model this. Um, we've been talking a whole lot about mentoring, about teaching, and this could be one way that I want us just to lead and, and to help with each other, um, knowing that um, we not only need clean hands, um, but, but we need well, well bodies. And it's a holistic way of how we look at it. You're going you're to find uh, bottles of these um, all around the sanctuary, um, all around the fellowship hall. Um, there's a bottle of these in each of the bathrooms. Um, with um, antibacterial soap. So all of these supplies um, are, are ready for us. So um, model it, model it. I want us to be a, a huge superhero as, as we do this together. Um, and then the last thing I wanna say in this short clip today is um, I want you to stay home when needed, okay? Um, I'm gonna reiterate, reiterate this many times. This is going to be a no judgment zone. If you're not here, you're, you're not going to be going, well, so-and-so is not here. Why aren't they back at the church building? None of that's happening. I, I want us to have uh, well bodies, clean hands, um, and, and then come in um, at being the best that we can possibly be, not only for ourselves, uh, but for those around us. You know, this could include things, just again, just a reminder, you know, the importance of staying hydrated, how much your body needs um, water. Um, and I'm the first one to be guilty. Go, I've had 48 cups of coffee. That's not hydration. Good, good hydration. Um, good balance of, of food. You know, uh, your, your veggies and your fruits, those good things that our body needs to build, you know, our immune systems up. You know, we, we live in a world with, with so much junk as far as processed food and stuff that's really not good for us that brings our health down. This is a good time to, to, to just raise our awareness on staying hydrated, um, eating properly, getting the right amount of rest, all those things that we've been taught forever and ever and ever, it's time to really now model these things. But within all this, if you're not feeling good, don't push it, stay home. I love you. Um, more to come, but I want us to remind us again that life is better with clean hands. Um, have, have that in a little jingle in your head. Uh, no, I love you. Stay clean, stay well. Talk to you soon.